Let's see, what can I do with some old calculators? Oh, retro gaming with Nintendo games. Now that's cool. How about running Doom? Yep, that's something I want to try out one day. What about rendering ray traced graphics on the screen? Well, these are little computers. Or what about liquid cooling your calculator? Hang on, what? One of the calculators I've been given recently caught my eye. The Casio CFX 9850GB+. This is a colour screen graphing calculator from the 1990s. The 9850 series are unique, not only because they had colour screens more than a decade before any other brands, but the colour screen on this calculator is like no other colour display before or since. Since the dawn of colour TVs more than 50 years ago, right up until your modern HDR OLED display, colour is made by mixing red, green and blue subpixels. But the screen that Casio uses in these colour calculators doesn't do that. Instead, the entire pixel itself changes colour. Now, I particularly enjoy older LCD screens with their nice fat pixels and no need for a backlight. And this Casio display has those qualities, but it also has some downsides. The screen can look quite blurry, depending on the angle of the light and the angle that you're looking at it. The display is slow to update with some strange color effects as the pixels change. Using this calculator's own built-in diagnostic mode, gives us a good view of the colour change. This brings up the hidden test menu. There are various options here, but the one that interests me is the display test. I really like this transition during the LCD test. It appears to show even more colours on the screen at the same time. But this is only an effect of the time it takes to update the screen. And it demonstrates that this technique could have been used to produce a display with a wider range of colours. Casio, however, did need to be practical. They were making an inexpensive graphing calculator with the ability to represent different graphs in a few different colours at an affordable price. In this, they definitely succeeded and the result was a colour LCD that was much cheaper to produce than standard RGB LCDs. But how did they do this, and how does this work? I've been wondering about this since I first saw Posey's intriguing video on strange colour LCDs. And then I was given this calculator, and now I can do some experiments. Looking at the contrast adjustment menu gives us some hints to where the colour comes from. Increasing the liquid crystal display's contrast level also has an effect on the colours. Orange turns into purple, and blue becomes hard to distinguish from green. In the other direction, with low contrast, orange turns yellow, and blue looks red. Also, each individual colour can also be individually adjusted for interesting results. This shows us that the colour depends on the liquid crystal which polarises the light going through it. Liquid crystal displays work by polarising light into either horizontal or vertical waves, then passing that polarised light through another polarising filter. If the filters cross each other, then the pixel goes dark. Red, green, blue based colour LCDs work by having three subpixels and colouring each subpixel with a red, green or blue filter. This then produces a pixel that can become any required colour on your screen. But the pixels on this Casio don't have any subpixels or any colour filtering. Instead, they're using an effect called biofringence. This effect is often used by geologists to produce colour when examining some types of minerals. I can demonstrate this effect by using these two polarising filters, then bring another material such as this acrylic cup between them. The result is a spectrum of visible colour appears. 
What I understand is happening here is polarised light waves are being split into different paths by the acrylic. Then, when these waves meet each other again, different wavelengths of colour are either constructively or destructively combined to produce these different colours. Casio were able to harness this effect and produce a colour display out of it. What's even more amazing is that each pixel is never just one specific colour. Rather, each pixel is always showing a spectrum of colour, and the colour you see depends on the angle you are looking from. This is a very clever technique to produce colour from a regular grayscale LCD, and then combining that with some impressive filtering techniques. I did take this calculator apart, and I found this LCD looks quite milky compared to regular LCDs of this type. I assume this is due to the extra layers of filtering and polarisation needed to produce the biofringence effect. I would like to thank everyone who has given me interesting gadgets to explore, and my patrons for helping me make these videos possible. And thank you for being here and watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.